올라! 미라키 백희입니다. Why does it hurt so bad? So bad. 올라! 미라키 백희입니다. We are to something I never had. 카메라 보지도 않았어. 다시. 다시. We are here to help both men and women to know how to date uh, and date in Korea. And we were obviously not gonna just talk about our own experiences, but we're also gonna ask other people about their experiences and gonna share it to all of you. We're gonna talk about a very interesting topic that everyone will like, which is women are crazy and men are stupid. We're not gonna say no to this because obviously that yeah, is, yeah, that is obviously, I, I think so too, yeah. Yeah. I've done a little survey in my Instagram, which is here, about how did you got mad with your boyfriend, or what was your interesting or crazy experience you had with the boyfriend, and this is all the answer that I got randomly, any of this, and we're gonna talk about it. Okay, let's start! Yep. Shh! I think any guys talk to their girlfriends who want to sleep with them. It's true. Every guy thinks that if guys try to talk to their girlfriend, that means the guy wants to sleep with them. Uh, yeah, in general, they always think about sex. But <laughs> and it's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But um... If you're a guy and you talk to a girl without thinking of sleeping mm -hmm. with her, please comment. So all other guys can know that it exists. Please. Mm -hmm. Men are childish, they play games all the time, and proud of that, they never plan for the future seriously. Uh, I think it depends. It really depends, yeah. yeah. Mm. Like, of course, they do play games all the time, but women also play games all the time, for example, me. Oh, really? And never play like that? Women game is not like crazy, like League of Legends or <laughs> The Witcher. Or That's something great that game. They play really bad, but it's going to be something stupid, for example. I play God and Skate. Because you are good at games, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a type of games. Mm. So it not necessarily has to be something like men play games, women play games. Uh, they should have a conversation. Like, what do you think about me playing games all the time? Oh, well, if as a hobby, it's definitely fine. I, I don't really agree with this point that it, uh, a man is playing a game, it doesn't mean he is not serious about his future at all. It's Maybe, true. Yeah, but it sounds a bit uh, childish, of course, yeah. but. It's just game, or I I never seen any person who plays the game over six hours a day or something. Maybe uh, this girl is talking about that kind of crazy guy, right? But what what you gonna do if you had this kind of guy and he doesn't pick up Again, your phone? Again, I I, I or... would have a conversation. I would tell him what I think about it and, okay. and what should we do. And if you consider this relationship more than the game, maybe then <laughs> so sad. Okay, then, <laughs> this is just crazy. Then we should uh... have a conversation and about the future. Especially about that, mm. Asian women think about future way more than men. We think about like the next 10 years, not just even next year or the next 5 years probably. Mm. Some of my friends, mm. they even think about how they're going to raise the kid when they don't even have a boyfriend yet. Yeah, at 25 or 24 it started and yeah, it's very natural. Easy. Try to not overthinking because actually in the next 10 years, even we, we nobody knows what's going to happen. You don't have to worry about that far. Just the guy gonna have their own think about it. It's just if they tell you or not, mm -hmm. which you need to have a conversation for that. But yeah, definitely. Uh, men are scared of serious relationships. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do uh, you mean men on Tinder or what? Ah, <laughs> uh, still they still look for a serious relationship. I, I think so. Yeah. Once in a million. Once in a million, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 it's a very high rate, yeah. super high rate, yeah. yeah definitely. Uh, have you met any guy who says, I don't really look for serious relationships? Yes, they, they do not say me, yeah, not me, just, I just talked to a friend last week, she said that she has been dating a guy for two years, uh -huh. and he told her that he doesn't want any relationship out of that. And then she told him that, oh then, then if you don't want a relationship and I'm I'm big with you for two years, so I will, so it's time I can't deal with this anymore. And she was a really, really cool girl. Definition of dating or dating what? 
What like calling each other girlfriend and boyfriend. What? Yeah. That's what they are uh, in That's why I think right? a few guys, obviously, there will be a few guys, obviously, with a few women would think so too, but they will open a relationship they call open relationship. Oh, that, that's bullshit. That's totally bullshit. Yeah, that's totally I'm bullshit. Of Scandinavian <laughs> and all that. Yeah. Yeah, so what about this? I think a few men scared of serious relationship. That's true. That's how the problem. That is mental, yeah. mental illness or something, I think. That, uh, so if there are any guys who are watching this video, please. Comment. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> please, no, no, please comment. Why are you scared of a relationship? I was, I, I can't come up with some idea, but I'm obviously I'm not guys. I, I don't know. Maybe they scare responsibility. Yeah, but we are. True, it's right? true. That's so, if you're watching this video and you are scared of a serious relationship, please let us know why. And here, serious relationship doesn't mean getting married. It just means a proper relationship where you call the other person is boyfriend or girlfriend properly, mm. and introduce them to your friends. Ah. Mm. Oh. Men think about sex all the time, and I feel like they don't even need to know the person to have sex with them. It's true. <laughs> oh god. Uh, it's true. It's true. I, I heard so many guy friends of mine telling a story of they don't even know like who lying next to them mm. in the next morning because they just got like yeah. really drunk yeah, the, yeah. in the other night, and they don't even know. Mm. And there are a f like many people who can act like they normal when they're super drunk, but actually they are super drunk. Yeah, they they obviously they even pay for it, you know. Yeah, so make sense because to to I think with women, if we want to have sex with somebody, we need to know at least a few things about the guy. Mm -hmm. I don't think there will be many normal women just sleep with somebody without knowing any information. Mm -hmm. That's why guys has to pay more attention and they always if they want to sleep with somebody always try to have at least to like invite them over for dinner making dinner and like talking much before they actually mm. like get them into bed or something that's that not a good thing either way but i mean it's both if you want it you want it if you don't nobody gonna force you yeah. they might even call somebody names what level do you think you know a person to 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 have sex with? Uh, what's the degree? How like for example? How often do you meet? Or like obviously, I'm have... I'm not having enough experience to to tell you that how often. What I think is maybe if for example, if I'm I like sleep with somebody, I got to at least know like where do they live. Yeah, his name. Like, yeah, his at name. Least your name. Least. Your job. And, and what what are they doing here? Mm -hmm. Like they could be just a tourist, just come over for like a night or <sighs> something. Worst. Yeah, you need to know at least, or at, even not the basic information. You need to know, for example, like we were in a pub and he was they saying something like, "Oh, I really like this type of music," and I was like, "Oh, me too." At least have some common things mm -hmm. to share. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interest. yeah. I remember, I when I was in club, I had um, a man who talked with me, and we just introduced ourselves. Hey, what's your name? And you know, where where do you live? And okay, do you want to go to my house? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> so straight. And of course, oh he was no, drunk. do you want to uh, come over and watch some Netflix? <laughs> yeah, yeah, after three sentences, he says, "Yeah, oh, no, no, Sorry. of course not. No, no. that that not so fast." Work. So yeah. guys, if you want to get any woman in bed, I'm, I'm not encourage this, but if you want to, please at least. Yeah, put some effort, please. Yeah, yeah. put some effort. Just, no good. So that was the talk today. We talked about how crazy women and overthinking women could be and how stupid men could be. Actually, if you're curious, there are actually a, uh, a research oh. about the, about by, like, a science editor say that a 20 year study of the Darwin Awards, an annual review of the most foolish way people have died, found almost 90% were won by males. And they actually came up with the 
Mill Idiot Theory, which is MIT. You can search for it. It's actually it a research and it's uh, a show. So it's officially men really are stupider than women. <laughs> but I mean, it is a fun fact. It's not really like saying anything. Women just just can't be asked to do or take a risk or do something dangerous. But like, yeah, men can can be uh, can do stupid thing. Like, yeah, they can just. They can just hurt themselves for getting mad at games or something. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At some point, it's officially people. Men are stupider than women. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. And see you next time. Bye. <laughs>